All right. For today's flow, we're going to start with a little five minute meditation. Kind of slow down, cool down, and uh, drop into the mindset of a good practice here. So get comfortable, a comfortable seat. Um, if you want to prop something up under your hips, like a rolled up blanket, something like that, uh, that can be more comfortable. Or you can also come to your knees like this and choose a hand position that will be sustainable through the entire meditation. So whether you want to have your fingertips together, palms up to receive energy, palms down for grounding, whichever one you choose, go ahead and come into your seat and your hand position and close your eyes. And in the first few minutes of our meditation here, start to deepen your breaths, matching your inhales with your exhales. And notice the quality of your breath as it moves in and out of your body. Are there any sticking points? Can you breathe deeply? Do you feel oceans of breath coming in and out of your body? Whatever you're feeling, notice that. And just be aware of what you, what you have on your mat today. Go ahead and tuck your chin softly and raise the crown of your head toward the ceiling. Sit up tall. Engage your core to support yourself here. And breathe into all the space that opens up in your chest and in your back when you do that. Relax your face, relax your jaw, your tongue's on the roof of, the mouth, of your mouth, relax it, let it just hang out. You have nowhere to be except right here. And do the same with your thoughts. As your thoughts arise, just release them. Notice them and let them go. Bring it down into your hips, into your feet, whatever else is touching the ground. And breathe into that connection with the earth.
in the next few breaths, softly open your eyes and taking essential movements, come into a child's pose at the back of your mat. And take with you a bit of peace from that meditation, and that bit of clarity. And rest your gaze softly, blurrily on the mat beneath you. So you continue to breathe deeply, matching long, slow inhales with long, slow exhales. On your next inhale, come up to hands and knees, placing your wrists right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips. And on your inhale, start to spread your collarbones wide and bring your gaze up the wall in front of you as you lift your tailbone high. On your exhale, pull your stomach into your spine and arch your back, rounding like a cat, the crown of your head dropping down. And flow through these cat cows, take four more, following your breath and adding in any other little movements that feel good to you here. And inhale, come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes, lift your tailbone high. Come into down dog. Move your hands about six to 12 inches farther forward than where you came to rest in cat cow. Pedal out your feet left and right. Move your hips around. Take any little motions you need to come into your strong down dog right here and sink your heels toward the mat to open up a stretch even down to the back of your calves. Bend your elbows out to the sides as you press down through your knuckles and now roll your biceps in and forward as you straighten your hands back, straighten your arms back out to help to integrate your shoulders here and squeeze your hands together on your mat to complete the motion. Inhale, look forward between your hands and exhale, walk to the front of your mat and hang in a rag doll. Press down through your heels to lift your hips high, then rock your weight into the front of your feet to drop the crown of your head low. And make sure to lift your toes after you do so to make sure you're not just holding onto the mat with your little piggies. Release your grip on your arms and heel toe your feet together. Inhale to halfway lift, keeping your tummy in and extending your spine long. And exhale to forward fold. Let's do one more of those. Inhale to halfway lift with a flat back. And exhale forward fold. On your next inhale, roll all the way up to standing, pressing down to lift up and raise your arms overhead and exhale, hug in as you forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift, 
and exhale to step back to high plank. Press out through your heels in the crown of your head to grow long and squeeze your hands and feet together as you take another inhale and exhale, rock forward under your toes and lower halfway down. Flip your feet over and press up to upward facing dog and exhale your hips high to down dog. Inhale, look forward between your hands. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step or jump back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, raise your heart up and exhale to down dog. Inhale, look forward between your hands. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale to halfway lift and exhale to fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, reaching up over your head and exhale to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, step or jump back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, down dog. And once more through those sun A's. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing. Spark your fingers open at the top, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. And exhale, step or jump back, high to low plank, growing long. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. And now getting into our sun bees, start warming up those hips and our major muscles. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. On your inhale, come up into chair and hold. Press down and out through your feet and roll your inner thighs down and back to provide a strong base in this pose. Bring your shoulder blade tips together to raise your arms up by your ears. Inhale, expand your collarbones to either side of the rooms you're in and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, step or jump back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, down dog. Right foot steps forward to meet your right hand, left heel spins down, inhale up to warrior one. Squeeze your quadriceps onto the bone, and hug your outer hips in as you sink lower towards your right heel. Inhale, reach up, look up, and exhale, hands to the mat, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, down dog. Left foot steps forward, inhale as you rise, warrior one, and exhale to sink lower as you pinch your heels together on the mat. Inhale the front of your pubic bone up so you look up between your hands and exhale your hands to the mat, high and low plank. Inhale upward facing dog and exhale down dog. And now we'll flow that pattern one breath per movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. Inhale up into chair, one breath this time, and exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift, and exhale step or jump back, high low plank. Inhale upward facing dog, and exhale down dog. At the bottom of your exhale, step forward and inhale to rise, warrior one. Come down with your exhale, high low plank. Inhale upward facing dog, and exhale, down dog. 
the bottom of your exhale, step forward with your left and inhale to come up, warrior one. Exhale your hands to the mat, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. We'll flow through that twice more. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, up into chair. And exhale, melt down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift with a long spine. And exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, up, warrior one. Exhale, down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. Left foot steps forward. Inhale, on up. And exhale, your hands to the mat. High to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale your right heel high. Bend your knee and stack and open up your hips. Squeeze your left butt cheek to send that hip higher and sink your left heel toward the ground. Either stay here or flip your dog. If you're in flip dog, press your heels into the ground and lift the front of your pubic bone to extend your right hand toward the wall in front of you. Bring your gaze to reach the floor. Inhale, puff up through your chest, and exhale, come back to three-legged dog. Bring your knee to your nose, step through heel first, and come up into crescent lunge. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Flip your right palm, inhale, go up and back, and exhale, cartwheel down. High to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale to down dog. Inhale your left heel high. Bend your knee and stack and open up your hips. Bump up the outside of your right hip and sink that heel down to the ground. And now with your abs firmly in for either choice, stay here or flip your dog. Extend your knees toward the wall in front of you and press through the knuckles of your hand on the ground to take the weight out of your wrist as you drop your gaze behind you. One more big inhale to lift up and exhale, come back to three-legged dog. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Step through heel first and inhale up into crescent lunge. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, cartwheel down. Flow through high to low plank. Inhale, the upward facing dog. And exhale to down dog. Step your right foot forward. Bring your left heel down and come on up into warrior one. Lift your back ribs up off of your pelvis as you turn your pinkies in slightly and press your hands together like you're holding a beach ball. Now clasp your hands behind you, either thumb on top, and shine your armpits forward as you inhale your heart hot over the ceiling. And then exhale, bow on the inside of your right knee for humble warrior. Release the bind, inhale, stand all the way up, warrior one. And exhale, open up into warrior two. Scoot your feet as far apart as you need to, to really pinch those heels together on the ground and sink low. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, come into extended side angle. Activate your hamstrings on both legs to provide some lift as you turn your right ribs underneath you to face up to the ceiling. We're 
we're here for three more breaths. Last one, inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. And exhale, sink down on your left leg for Skandasana. Pinch your glutes and your heels together on the mat, even here, as you keep your toes active on your right leg. One last big inhale here. And then exhale, bring your hands down to frame your left leg. So we're in a low runner's lunge here. So press down through both feet to bring your left hip forward, left hip back and your right hip forward. And bring your chest through your shoulders as you walk your gaze way in front of your mat. Take a full exhale, press all your hair out. And an inhale, come on up to standing split, raising your right heel high and dropping the crown of your head down. Press down through your left heel to raise the outside of your left buttocks up and engage the quadricep on your right leg to extend that heel toward the wall behind you, maybe in the wall or the seal, the wall above you. The ceiling is our word for that. Squeeze your inner thighs together to lift that right foot a little bit higher. And then exhale, come to a forward fold at the top of your mat, or bottom of your mat, I guess. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Now inhale, your hands high, hips low. Come on up into chair pose and hold. Bring your hands to heart center and twist over to the right. Bump your left hip back as you press your left elbow into your right knee and your right knee into your left elbow. To turn and bring your left ribs under, spiraling them up to the ceiling. Walk your gaze any amount farther over your right shoulder. Release, come to center and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, flow through your chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale to upward facing dog, and exhale, hips high to down dog. And you should be facing a different direction than when you started. If you're not, fine. We'll get over those skandasanas someday. Step your left foot forward to meet your left hand. Spread out your right heel down. And inhale on up to warrior one. Exhale, squeeze your inner thighs together and bring your left ribs back and your right forward to sink down lower onto that front leg. Bring your hands behind you and clasp them together, this time with the other thumb on top. The funny one, or whichever one you didn't choose the first time. Inhale, pull your knuckles down to reach your chest up. And exhale, keeping your abs in, bow on the inside of your left leg. Inhale, back up, release your bind. And exhale, open up to warrior two and hold. Extend your fingers toward either wall. Flip your left palm, inhale, go up and back. And exhale, come into an extended side angle. Press through the knife blade edge of your right foot to extend long through those fingertips. We'll be here for four more breaths. One more inhale, one more exhale, then inhale on up to warrior two, and exhale, sink down onto your right foot for skandasana. 
Bring the pit of your belly in and up and press your hands together to spread your collarbones wide. One more inhale here and exhale, turn and frame your right foot with your hands. Press down through both your feet to pull your right hip back and your left forward, squaring them up so you can use your abs as a strong base. And fully exhale all your air. The next inhale, come on up to a standing split. Ground down through your right heel and activate the quads on both legs to square your hips back up so you can drop the crown of your head lower and raise that active left foot up a little bit higher. And release, forward fold at the top of your mat. Split your feet, feet, feet apart and grab your big toes with your peace sign fingers. Inhale to halfway lift and exhale to fold with your elbows wide, using the strength of your arms to traction out your thoracic spine. Tuck your chin softly to really descend the crown of your head versus, you know, your hairline or any other for, more forward part of your head down. It really does make a difference in these folds. If you're feeling a pinching in your back, instead of your legs when you do that, just bend your knees. Release your grip and heel toe your feet together. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, fold. Then inhale on up into chair and hold here. Lift and spread all 10 of those toes and sink your hips down two more inches. Then bring your hands to heart center and twist over to the left. Bump your right hip back as you press your right elbow and your left knee and your left knee back into your right elbow. And inhale your tailbone back and your heart forward to expand your extend your spine long and give you room to twist. Walk your gaze any farther, amount farther over your left shoulder. Release, come to center and exhale forward fold. Spread your fingers wide and plant your hands shoulder width apart and come into a crow pose. Even if you're not picking your feet up, lean that chest way far forward and bring your weight into your fingertips to start to take on the feeling of crow. You've got your feet off the ground, press your toe ball mounds together and spread those toesies wide to activate all the little muscles in your lower abdominals. Also, if you've got crow, don't hold that breath, girl. Get some long, slow ones in there. It's the best way to advance in any of these nerve wracking balancing poses is to come back to your breath. And release down. Come into a squat pose. Should be a fairly straightforward transition from crow. And bring your belly in and your front ribs together, pressing your elbows into your inner thighs to open up even more. Expel all your air out on your next inhale. Stand all the way up. Heel toe your feet together. 
Inhale your arms overhead and exhale, softly fold down. Split your feet apart and slide your upturned palms underneath them for a gorilla pose. You can massage your wrists with your little toesies there. Or just kind of sway side to side or whatever feels good here. Ooh, my back just popped. I needed this one. Sometimes I'll take a class in the morning and literally every move pops something else in my back. I think of how my day could have gone differently if I didn't do yoga. Release your grip and heel toe your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, high to low plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog, and exhale your hips high to down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to your hands. Inhale to halfway lift, and exhale to fold. Inhale on up into chair pose. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center and twist over to the right. Squeeze your inner thighs together and bring all of your weight into your left foot and press your left elbow firmly into your right knee as you stand all the way up. And at the top, you can release your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Extend your right hand long and take a dancing Shiva. It's a fun little core move transition, which as far as transitions go, once you wrap your mind around it, it's not that hard. We do lots of standing on one leg in this practice. There's something about that mental aspect of like, oh shit, my hands are in front, I'm gonna stand up. That really does something. Release and come to center. Then bring your right hand to the outside of your right knee and foot and open up right and left for standing leg raise, turning to look at your left thumb. Release, inhale, come to center, kick that right foot out, and exhale, come back into your airplane pose, reaching your fingers long behind you, and finding some up dog in your chest as you reach it in front of you. And release, take a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. And then inhale, come up into chair pose. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, and twist over to the left. Bring all of your weight into your right foot and press your right elbow into your left knee. And begin to stand all the way up until at the top, you release your right hand to the outside of your left knee. <laughs> Extend your left arm long behind you and take Dancing Shiva. Almost had that one, couldn't save it though. All right, so after working through your wobbles and bobbles, you now squeeze your inner thighs together, raise the crown of your head up, and the key to lifting up is always pressing down. Find your opposing motion, and you'll find stability there. Release and come to center, and then bring your left hand to the outside of your left knee and open up to the side, looking over your right thumbnail for standing leg raise. Keeping the toes active on your lifted foot will help. Release, come to center. Kick your left foot out in front of you, and then hinge back into airplane on this side. Engage the hamstring on your lifted leg to raise it higher up to the ceiling, squaring your hips.
and release. Take a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, flow through your vinyasa, high to low plank. Or just come back to down dog. And we'll all meet back in down dog in a second here. Step your right foot forward, meet your right hand, and inhale on up into a warrior one. Exhale, open up into your warrior two. Straighten your right leg as you inhale, go up and back. And exhale, come into a triangle pose. Press through your right toe wall mound and your left heel to bring your right hip under you and back in your left hip forward. From this strong base, extend your spine long, bringing the crown of your head toward the wall in front of you and turn to look up at your left thumb. And release, fold over your right foot. Step your left in any amount to make sure you have both heels on the ground. As you inhale, halfway lift into pyramid pose. And exhale, squeeze your inner thighs together as you fold. Take another halfway lift. And exhale, melt over that front leg. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bump your hips over to the left as you reach your right hand for the ceiling and twisting triangle, pressing through the front pad on your right foot to make sure that leg is straightened out. Or if you're really bending and you're hyperextended, bring a little flex into it. Both those modifications can make this open up so much more on the outside of your glute and IT band on the front leg. Inhale, raise up more. And exhale, flow through. Take your high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale to down dog. Step your left foot forward to your left hand. Right heel spins down. Inhale, up to warrior one. Exhale, open up to your warrior two. Straighten your front leg as you inhale your palm up and back. And exhale, stretch forward as far as possible before coming down into a triangle pose. Squeeze those inner thighs together to send your tailbone back and your heart forward. Bring your shoulder blade tips together on your back to open up to the ceiling. Keep the fingers in your top hand active to keep the flow of energy strong through your whole body. and fold over your left leg. Step your right foot in any amount needed to come into a pyramid pose. Inhale to halfway lift, and exhale to fold. Pop your booty up toward the ceiling a little bit more to give your crown, the crown of your head room to drop down and hang heavy here, pulling your spine long. Take another halfway lift with a flat back, and exhale, fold over your left leg. Inhale, take another halfway lift. And exhale, twist open to the ceiling. Bump your hips over the right to give you more room to spiral that right rib cage underneath. And tuck your chin softly if you need more room in your neck to look up at your left thumbnail.
One last inhale up and exhale. Take your vinyasa. You'll all meet back together and downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into high plank and exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly, spinning either ear down to the ground for a brief belly shavasana. This is a wonderful place to come back to your breath and access that calm that we started the practice with in that short meditation. Flip your other ear, or flip on the other side of your head, so the other ear's down. And bring your chin to center, and inhale on up into locust pose. Engage your abs to bring the front of your pelvis and your low ribs closer together and pinch your shoulder blades on your back to open your heart to the wall in front of you. Spread out your toes and hug your inner thighs together to extend through your legs. And exhale, release, other ear down to the ground. And set up for second locust, or kick your heels up and capture them from the outside for a bow pose. And inhale, come on up. Squeeze your legs together to engage your inner thighs so that you can kick even more powerfully. Extend through your legs, even here, even in bow where you feel a little more bound up, a little less loosey-goosey than locust. Inhale, lift up, peel one more rib off the mat, and exhale, lower all the way down, opposite ear to the mat. Windshield wiper your legs back and forth to release your low back. And then flip on over for a bridge pose. Place your heels under your knees, walk your shoulder blades underneath you, and then press down and forward with your feet as you inhale up into your bridge. Clasp your palms underneath you and pull your knuckles towards your heels to open your chest up and extend long through your upper spine. And exhale, release down. Take an inhale here. And a full exhale. On your next inhale, come up to your second bridge. Cross your left foot over your right thigh in figure four legs. And squeeze your butt together to lift up a little bit higher. Breathe into that hip opening and activate the toes on both feet. And then exhale, release, come all the way down. Take a big inhale here. And a big exhale. And then inhale, come up for your third bridge. Press down to your left foot to cross your right over your left thigh. And inhale into the big stretch that happens here in your hip. and release down. We're gonna take two wheels, five breaths each. So if you're feeling wheel today, come on and try it. If you're not feeling wheel today, come on, bring your hands by your ears anyway. And you can start from a bridge pose, go ahead and come up. And even just keeping your hands by your ears and squeezing your elbows together is great. 
Otherwise, you might try lifting up under your head. And if that feels good, press on up to the full wheel and we'll be here for five breaths. And exhale, release, come all the way down. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. And set up for our second and final wheel. And with an inhale, come on up. Three more breaths. And exhale, release, come all the way down. Take a Supta Baddha Konasana, bringing your, the soles of your feet together, one hand on your low belly and one hand on your heart. And even your breath back out. The best thing you can do if you're huffing and puffing is to take a full exhale and make yourself take that next inhale slow. You may feel your heart in your ears when you do that, but it's going to help you recover much faster than giving in to that <sighs> kind of stuff. Release your feet up and take a happy baby. Kick, and kick into each hand, straightening your legs out this way and that way, this way and that way. And then release your legs up to the ceiling. If you need extra lumbar support, you can put your hands in a diamond shape right under your sacrum. And otherwise, bring your hands to the side, your sides, palms up. Inhale to lengthen out through your spine, kick your heels up. And exhale, lower 30 degrees down. Inhale to lengthen out. And exhale, lower another 30 degrees. So we're two thirds of the way down now. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hover your heels three inches off your mat. Bring your head, neck, and shoulders up. And now flutter kick for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale up one third of the way and hold. Inhale up another third of the way. Take an exhale here. Then inhale all the way up and bring your head, neck, and shoulders down. We're going to do two more of these cycles. Get stoked. So take a big inhale, lengthen everything out, and exhale lower a third of the way down. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale lower two thirds of the way down. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hover three inches above the ground, head, neck, and shoulders up. And this time, cross your legs over one another. Scissors for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now inhale up a third of the way. Take an exhale here. Inhale up two thirds. Exhale, hold. Inhale all the way up and bring your upper body down. One more time. Feet active. Face is joyful. Heart's glad. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, lower a third of the way down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower another third. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bring your heels three inches to hover and swing them back and forth for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up a third of the way. Exhale to stay. We're almost there, ladies. Inhale up another third. Exhale to stay. Inhale up all the way. 
and bring your knees into your chest. Roll out your low back, left and right. You can capture the back of your thighs and start to roll one, two, and then your third roll, come on up to half pigeon on your right side. Oh yeah. And stand all the way up onto your hips and see if you can raise the crown of your head up so much that it stacks over your hips before beginning your fold down. Inhale, come up and switch sides, bringing your right leg in front or left leg in front. Woo. And with your left shin parallel or as close as it can get to it to the front of your mat, inhale the crown of your head up to stack over your hips and then begin to fold over your left leg. We do a lot of squeezing and strengthening to be, have a strong base in those uh, standing poses. And the other piece of this is lengthening. And that's the goal of some of those, you know, sit all the way up and you're like, I don't wanna do this. But it's to get more length in your joints and your hips and low back and places that can become really compressed so that we can strengthen without all that pinching, all that squeezing. So, like everything here, broken record, there's a push pull to be had. Inhale, come all the way up. And then turn to the side of your mat and set up for a frog pose. You can turn up the corners of your mat to bring extra padding under your knees or use a blanket or what have you, keeping your shins perpendicular to your thighs, your feet perpendicular to your shins. Then keeping your belly squeezed in, start to lower down, making your knees wider or narrower as you settle in. If you're feeling lots of action, that is extremely correct. If you're not feeling too much action, take some actions to uh, figure that out. We have about 30 more seconds here. There's been a meme going around that it's some angel talking to a guy. She says, okay, you have one more minute on earth. How do you want to spend it? <laughs> and he takes a plank pose because <laughs> that's going to make the time drag out. <laughs> I think planks and frogs are about the uh, slowest 30 seconds you can give somebody. It's okay, class, we love to do this. So go ahead and with the help of your emotional support dog, flop forward out of your frog. And then come onto your back and bring your Extend your left leg long. Okay, Quest, that's enough, thank you. Send your left leg long and bring your right leg up. 
Reach for whatever you can grab here, your thigh, your calf, your toes, whatever's available to you. Just take a stretch from the back of your right leg. Then you can bring your leg over to the left side of your body and come right into your supine twist. Bending your knee as much as you need to, releasing your foot, whatever's gonna feel good here in your body. And release, come to center, switch sides. Extend your right leg long and bring your left foot up to the ceiling. Once again, grabbing for whatever meat is available to you there. And then bring your left leg over for your supine twist, turning to look over your left arm. Once again, choosing the twist that feels good to you, that feels right in your body. release, come to center. Take a full body stretch, wiggle your fingers and toes, and then bring your hands by your side and come into your Shavasana. Taking any other little additional movements you need to feel complete in your practice and come to a comfortable deep rest. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle out your wrists and ankles. And then roll on to your right or left side for a fetal position, bringing your knees up into your chest. And keeping your eyes closed. Press up to a seated position and bring your hands to heart center. We'll go ahead and close with an ohm. Take, let's do a clearing breath first. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And now let's ohm. Ohm. Inhale your thumbs to your third eye center. The light in me bows to the light in each one of you. Namaste. Woohoo! A little bit of an ab cooker today for that one.